I thought I'd make a short summary video of how I installed a digital readout on my 1946 Logan Model 200 lathe. I bought uh, scales from Shars, they're of the, the Shahe AccuRemote uh, variety. Uh, they output a 21-bit digital uh, value. I used Yuri's um, multi-scale kit board for the interface. I'm using a uh, an Amazon Fire tablet for the display. Um, that in itself is uh, was a bit of an adventure, just getting the the tablet configured uh, to be able to download the app from the Google Store. You have to jump through some hoops to get Google Play installed, and anyway, it's that's a whole other topic. Anyway. Um, Short, short video. The um, the cross slide scale I mounted above the lead screw. I hope you can see from from there. I'll see if I can, after I say it a little bit more here, get some close up shots of how the uh, how the the reed heads are mounted. But uh, this was a, really just a very clean way of installing the scale. There's room for it. Um, it keeps it out of the way of the follow rest that I don't have yet. I've got a steady here that I picked up on eBay, um, but haven't managed to score a follow rest yet. But um, it was fairly straightforward. Like I say, I'll get a close-up here in a minute. Um, the Z-axis scale is... Uh, um, had to make a bracket to attach to the back of the, of the carriage here. I used a drag chain to keep my my cords organized, these uh, scales uh, use USB uh, micro USB cables. Uh, they, with a seven by ten millimeter uh, drag chain, they you can just squeeze those micro USB connectors through the drag chain. Uh, it took, well, I bought the drag chain from Amazon for uh, 10, 15 bucks. That included the shipping because I'm a Prime member. The, uh, they sell it in one meter lengths. I had to remove uh, two lengths for it to work out, the length to work out properly. As you can see, I put the reed head on a on a on an articulated arm the uh, um, and it's just set into a block of wood that's clamped to the edge of the drip tray down there um, the brackets all of the hardware is it's just from Lowe's uh, or Home Depot from their their aluminum you know, stock uh, angle uh, and uh, um, and uh, you know the hot rolled steel for brackets um, the uh, and a few screws the I've got a cover on the Z axis scale. 
that's another piece of, uh, of the, the thin, I believe it's the inch and a half um, angle, and uh, I had to to get on my my saw and and trim a little bit off the edge uh, for clearance, one edge. The other edge is butted up against the back of the uh, of the ways. Anyway, to like say I think I will change my setup and uh, and show a little bit of detail on the way things are mounted. The uh, before I do, I guess I bent. I took some. I th this is 22 gauge. Uh, sheet metal steel um, that I bent to uh, to make a chip guard for the the cross feed um, cover everything up so now close ups so you can see here how the brackets are are made to uh, mount the scales. There's just a flat plate here, two holes drilled and tapped into the, into the cross slide. Um, I believe I used 832s. Those are kind of big, uh, but that's what I had on hand when I did it. So didn't feel like making another trip to the store to get, to get smaller screws. The um, two screws are drilled, two, two holes drilled and tapped into the, into the end of the scale, which being aluminum was easy to do. I used 256 screws for that, uh, button heads, because they're lower profile and they, there's a little more space <clears throat> between the head of the, for the head to clear the the nut that's that's right under here where you can't see it. The um, steel bracket bent with my with a, a bending uh, accessory for my uh, my bench vise. I don't have a break. Um, this the Z axis scale is mounted so the back is facing out. Uh, this bracket had to be dog leg just a little bit to clear the uh, to, to clear the the drag chain <clears throat> and uh, and I used I used the stock brackets that came with the scales. Um, I uh, had to add, this is a chunk of, of aluminum mangle, the, the uh, eighth inch thick, uh, which I cut off uh, one edge, left a little bit of a, uh, an edge there to butt up against the, uh, the edge of the bracket. Um, so that provides the, uh, the up and down um, degree of freedom for that attachment. Um, the uh, in and out is provided by the, uh, um, the, the way I installed the, these brackets on the end. Um, I'll move again and show that guess a little detail you can see underneath there all the electronics is stuffed into a small project box uh, it's just a PVC box that I got from uh, from DigiKey the bracket for the drag chain is mounted to the box and then of course the other end as you may have already noticed is uh, mounted to the end of the carriage here. And like I 
said these these cables the micro USB just barely with help uh, friction fit uh, can be pushed through the drag chain which is a seven millimeter by ten millimeter the seven by seven is too small anything bigger is just too big I, doesn't match the scale of the of the lathe um, but uh, anyway I think that I can stop it here so just a real quick shot of the box I bought a flange box so that the uh, the holes to mount the box are just drilled and tapped into the edge of the of the bed here um, the cables just the edges of the box are just notched to give clearance for the cables to fit through so the um, so the when the lid goes on it retains the cables because they're facing down I figure I'm safe I don't have to worry too much about about uh, oil and things getting into the box this cable is uh, going it's just something out of my junk bin and it goes over to the tachometer which I need to change my camera and uh, show how I put installed it so here's a close-up of the way I did the end brackets I use these simple L brackets that came with the scales that provides the uh, the in and out and end to end uh, adjustment or slack um, they're pretty much right up against the right up against the the bed uh, I put a, a dial indicator on the scale and and you know I tweak things just enough to to line things up from end to end but, uh, here you can see another shot of the arrangement so here's a shot of how I implemented the tachometer I used a, a an infrared obstacle avoidance sensor you can buy these on uh, eBay Amazon if you buy 10 of them at once you can get them for about a buck a piece they're uh, they're just an infrared uh, LED and then a, a detector and a comparator circuit the uh, they're powered from Yuri's multi-scale board um, the output I mean you just give them 3.3 volts and and ground and then the output goes to the a input um, on the 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 tack uh, and slash quadrature uh, slash touch probe header on Yuri's board the uh, um, I have some some reflective tape uh, I believe uh, uh, six pieces of, of reflective tape stuck to the sleeve this spindle sleeve here um, by angling the uh, the the detector and you can see it's aimed actually a little below the emitters aimed a little below the center line of the spindle so um, so light that uh, I, that the the light that hits the the metal which I cleaned up good and polished a little bit tends to reflect off at an angle and then this uh, uh, reflective tape uh, it's because it's filled with because it's made with tiny little glass balls that act as retro reflectors the light comes back the way it went in uh, 
you get more of a return off of them than you do from the from the metal. It uh, you can see it. Uh, It's a little finicky. There's some aspects of this uh, comparator circuit that I'm that I don't care for, um, and I may decide to uh, fiddle with it some more. Uh, some component values that are that are uh, that can be adjusted that uh, to make it a little less twitchy. It's a little temperature sensitive, and uh, but. I managed to get it to behave pretty well. There's one, there's a, you, you can make out the little blue potentiometer there. That's how you adjust it. The, uh, it's mounted with a single screw on top of a nylon spacer. There's a little, uh, little hex nylon uh, spacer that, uh, uh, with a hole through it, hole drilled and tapped into the, the, the headstock here. Uh, the, uh, the board is designed to work, with, it'll work with either a 440 screw or a three millimeter. And finally, a shot of the business end of things. You can see here. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.